An educational TV program, Travel Around Kazakhstan on Domestic Tourism, is produced within the frameworks of Ruhani Jangiru Project. Every episode, our camera crew travels along popular routes marked on a tourist vacation map of the Republic. They call Almaty a city of thousand colors for a reason. Many citizens of a country's megapolis don't cease to discover new and interesting tourist spots for themselves. We will dedicate more than one episode of Travel Around Kazakhstan to Almaty attractions. Seeing the hometown through the eyes of a tourist was the most interesting for an entire film crew. Tin Shan Mountains have been the primary calling card of Almaty for me. I will drive from the center of the southern capital to the nearest Koktibea mountain, from where the best viewpoint opens now, in six minutes. Hello, my name is Shinbulat Pazil, and this is Travel Around Kazakhstan Show. The height of the Mount Koktibea is 1,130 meters above sea level. You can climb it either by car or on foot, but you better not deny yourself the pleasure to overfly an old part of a city. People constructed a cable car on the mountain in 1967. Its length is 1,727 meters. They suspended cable cars over that part of town, which Almaty residents aptly named Kampot because of names of streets Sherry Street, Pear Street, and Apple Street, Vishnevaya, Grushevaya, and Yabochnaya. From above you can see well how the city has historically developed, from the private sector to new modern high-rises. In 1984, on the mountain, they built the Almaty Television Tower, which can be seen from almost any point of the city. By 2006, the Koktubea Amusement Park opened up and became the favorite entertainment area of residents and guests of the southern capital. I can recall that until 2016, they serviced Cable Road to Koktibea by these two old wagons. In them, you had to travel standing up and wait for your turn. Now, tourists are driving in 17 comfortable gondola lift cars. Despite the usefulness of the park, by this time it has its legends and superstitions. For example, People think that Alma Fountain, which greets Koktibia guests, can grant wishes. Those who believe in signs throw coins in it. Others take pictures with a huge granite apple as a memento. Help, I need somebody. Help, not just anybody. Help, you know I need someone. Songs of the Beatles are on the speakers of Koktibea Mountain all the time. It is the first statue in the world where an architect depicted the fabulous four depicted together. Look how John Lennon's shoulders shine. Every visitor takes pictures here, hugging him in a friendly way. The Beatles fans from Almaty has set up the sculpture in 2007. Liverpool City Mayor Frank Roderick, Beatles brand right holders, and of course, the iconic musicians themselves, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr, gave the official permission to create the bronze statue. Won't you please, please help me, help me, help me. You can climb up higher if you bought a Ferris wheel ticket. When it had opened, rumor had it that you could see Lake Kapchagai from the cable cars in clear weather. Let's check it. We went all the way up. You can't see Kapchagai. Ferris wheel is an acquired taste. I don't prefer looking at details while in motion. 
to be a park is the best place for a family vacation. The smallest visitors will find a thing of their own too, among amusement rides, zoo, and a variety of entertainment activities. But the most important thing for which tourists come here is the opportunity to enjoy the city views and tranquility. It's a gorgeous view of the Almaty, the city's in the palm of my hand. One can see a crown of the Kazakhstan Hotel. Republic Square is over there. Here is my favorite park of Almaty, the park of 28 Panfilov Guardsmen. Probably we will head there. During 1860s, the future Almaty, Vernia city, started to thrive and it was necessary to create places for relaxation of residents. An architect, Pavel Matveyevich Zenkov, had arrived in 1867 to Kazakhstan. He and engineer Krishtanovsky had advanced a rectangular model of Almaty, thanks to which directions are marked up as up and down today. At that time, they decided to establish park which now is called the Park of 28 Panfilov Guardsmen. Park of 28 Panfilov Guardsmen was built 150 years ago. Look how the trees changed. The gardens became a symbol of Almaty and a favorite relaxation place long time ago. The gardens changed many titles throughout its history. In 1899, to honor the 100th anniversary of Pushkin, they were renamed as Pushkin Gardens. By 1919, it was Park of Fallen Freedom Fighters. Then, for a short period of time, a string of names was attached. A local park named after Lenin, U Pompomarm, Gardens, the first May public park, as well as Park of Federation of Soviet Republics. In 1942, it received a current identity, the Park of 28 Panfilov Guardsmen. Memorial of Glory is devoted to 28 Panfilov soldiers who stopped the Nazi offense on Moscow at a defense in a Dubosekova crossing loop area at the cost of their own lives. The statue was unveiled for the 30th anniversary of victory in the Great Patriotic War by 1975. An eternal fire lit up at the same time in part. They put enormous labradorite stones near the monument that has capsules with earth from hero cities. The Ascension Cathedral can be called the first high-rise of Almaty. The 1910 earthquake destroyed single-story buildings, but the cathedral, which was the second-highest wooden building at the time, remained intact. Thanks to the ingenuity of architect Zenkov, the building for all its height has a flexible structure. A bell tower shook and bent in the earthquake, but didn't break. Large number of benches is around Basilica, where holiday makers gather every day of the week. Such large amounts of doves is nowhere to be seen in Almaty. They already know that feed awaits them. There are places and gardens for those who want to get a sense of Kazakh culture. The park also has another beautiful timber building by architect Zenkov. It houses the Kazakh Museum of Folk Musical Instruments, named after Yailis. This place was constructed according to plan of the famous architect Andrei Zankov. So far, seven halls are operating in museum. Five of them include Kazakh national instruments. Other two have instruments of peoples from 42 countries around the world. In total, 
An art center received over 1,200 musical instruments. Yaila's Museum of Folk Musical Instrument is the first one in Central Asia and the fifth across the world. Organizational works had started on 1st August of 1980 before the museum's opening. On 25th April of 1981, the center opened its doors for visitors. Music is an integral part of Kazakh culture. Since people use natural materials to create Kazakh national instruments, they sound it organically. A historian, ethnographer, and academic, Ozbekli Janibekov, have worked on an organization of museum launch himself. At the same time, he was a deputy minister of culture. The center was located in a different place, at the intersection of Gogol and Panfilo streets in a two-story house. In 1983, it moved to a new facility where we are now. They are unique pieces. Abai Kunanbaev played on this dombra, and on this one, Dina Nurpesova played Kuri of Kormangazi. This kolbuz is the oldest exhibit in the museum. It used to be shaman's device, and they didn't expect that you can hear it play in each orchestra of national instruments. By 1990, the museum had been given a name of the greatest kolbuz player, Yailis Dukian Uli, to promote his school of kolbuz, because he continued the work of famous Korkut Atta. Almaty is the biggest museum city of Kazakhstan. Art and history lovers might spend days in over 20 museums of different areas. Castella State Museum of Arts is the largest art museum and research center in the area of the fine arts in the country. Real treasures are placed on two floors, in 11 halls and 10 galleries. It is a collection of works by Kazakhstani and foreign artists. I really like Kastayev Museum for its modernity and richness of exhibition. Look, 
What an amazing project is implemented here to interest visually impaired visitors with oil painting. This is a plaster duplicate with which they may feel fine arts. A great deal of work has already been done so that paintings of artists like Rembrandt, Durer, Chopinim, Ivazovsky, Repin, Shishkin, Levitan, Petrovodkin, and others had emerged in the museum collection. Ivazovsky, everybody probably heard about the ninth wave of his. And here's another painting by him. Kastayev Museum has many world-renowned names. Certainly, they have collected paintings of the famous Kazakh artists as well. In addition to the permanent displays of art pieces, the museum mounts temporary exhibitions with works of talented countrymen. A hall of Ablihan Kasteyev, after whom the museum was named, occupies a special place in the exposition. The stay of gallery should be close to the heart of every citizen of Kazakhstan. He wonderfully shows scenes of everyday needs of Kazakhs a few decades ago. The construction of Turkestan Siberia Railway is presented so vividly that it feels like the train would go out of canvas into the hall. Art of Ablihan Kasteyev can belong to people. You can see the energy of his soul in his paintings because he searched for beauty where many had not looked before. It is the sole reason he reflected with skill national traditions and customs of Kazakhs and real life of Kazakhstan in his times. There was a time when the museum settled down in Ascension Cathedral, which we had visited today. Its current residence was built only in 1985. However, the history started one and a half centuries before. In Orenburg, the Museum of Local Region was established, which moved to Almaty in 1929, when the city obtained a status of the capital of the Union Republic. Turks left a legacy of plenty of magnificent artifacts, military attributes, spears, and jewelry to historians. In Art Center, you can see cultures of the medieval times with poetry workshops, water and sanitation infrastructure that had been popularized on the Silk Road, where Kazakhstan played a key role. A great deal of attention in the gallery is focused on Kazakh ethnography. Nomadic type of culture created in Kazakh steppes had determined the type of lodging, food, clothing, tools, architecture, and art. For today, I did not go to 10% of all Almaty attractions. Someone prefers museums and historical monuments. Someone likes nature. For some, it's a city of creativity. For others, it's a city of business. Everybody finds their Almaty. This was Shimbolat Pazil with Travel Around Kazakhstan Show.